You're not out of the OT. You're my daughter. What's your name? Mia. Mia. Well, Mia and I are back today again to show you some more simple, fun, and effective activities that are perfect for teletherapy or home learning. Don't forget, if you like these videos and want to stay updated, you click, what do they click, Mia? Subscribe. Subscribe, that's right. And if there are any videos you'd like to see or any areas you want me to work on, just leave a little note in the comments below and we'd love to do a video just for you. Okay? Now today's activity we're going to show you is the 30 second sensory swing. There's a reason you go into any therapy department, any OT room, and you'll see loads of swings. OTs love them and the kids really enjoy them too. And also, more importantly, they're one of the most powerful, beneficial therapeutic tools we have available. So let's try and get you a way to get that same sort of nice vestibular movement in the home environment using something as simple as a towel, okay? So let's see this prone extension swing. Well, people call this a Superman swing, or in our case, I guess, a Supergirl swing. You Supergirl? Yeah. So yeah! <laughs> well, for our little Supergirl to fly, we need to look at two things about safety first. So first with the towel, the towel doesn't matter so much. We want any normal bath, towel, or beach towel work. We want to make sure it's broad enough, so this way, so it at least reaches from Mia's shoulders down past her hips, down to her knees, okay? Mia, how old are you? Four. Four years old. Mia's kind of about as old a child as I would use this kind of swing on. If you feel strong, it's more about the safety of your own body mechanics to carry the weight. For younger kids, toddlers, absolutely. If, rule of thumb is, if you feel you can pick up the child and carry them around pretty easily, it's the same weight you'll be carrying in the swing, but do be careful, watch your biomechanics, okay? Another safety consideration, when you're gripping the swing, you wanna have what we call, in jujitsu, you call this a pistol grip, which means you wanna grip the end and make sure you've got a little bit of towel sticking out from your hand, okay? That way, or that way but we've got this little end called a pistol grip, okay? So you've got the grip, and the last part is your surface, okay? So you see, we've got these little pink, like uh, gymnastic mats we use for jujitsu and gymnastics, just folding out from Ikea. Exercise mats are fine. Another nice way to do this is do it on the bed, with you standing on the floor at the edge of the bed, and the child on the bed. You're only going to be an inch off the floor anyway, but even still, safety first, make sure there's a nice soft surface underneath. Okay, so be safe before you do anything. And here's the setup, guys. We take our towel widthways, leave it on the floor, the mat, or the bed, your soft surface. Then Mia, can you come in? Yeah. Good girl. So Mia, you lie in there. I want Mia's belly and her chest in the towel, and I want her knees and hips in the towel also. So it's coming down almost towards her feet. I'm gonna take the end pieces, hold them together, and get that pistol grip. So both ends held tightly with a good bit of towel peeking through. Then I'm going to come up in the same with the top ends, the two top corners. So I'm holding it all tight. Before I lift anything, I'm going to move myself around towards Mia's head and shoulders. I've got a good strong grip. I'm going to keep my tummy strong. I'm going to start to stand up and like doing a deadlift. So we've got all the towel held tightly. I take the tension, step up, and as I step up again, Mia's going to come up with me like a deadlift. Up we come. Good girl, Mia. And now you're Supergirl. Hey there, Supergirl. Hi. Say hi to the people. Hi. Beautiful. Hi. Now here, watch your biomechanics. So she's staying only a few inches off the ground. Because I'm very tall, I'm 6'2", I'm sort of bending my knees quite a lot. What I can actually do, because I'm tall, is I can do this from my knees also. So I can just straighten up and Mia will come a little off the floor, <laughs> all right? So it depends whatever the most comfortable position is for you, and whatever feels biomechanically the most safe and sturdy for you, okay? But we wanna get Mia into that same prone extension, lifting up through the back, lengthening through the neck and shoulders. That's a very powerful, very positive developmental position. We get lots and lots of benefits from there. Now, to make it fun, we just set up a little game for that. So let's show them what game we got to play, Mia. Okay, Mia, are you ready? Yeah! With any posting or sorting or stacking toys or trufflets, I love this little ice cream game. And Mia loves ice cream, don't you? Yeah! So Mia, while I lift you up, I want you to see if you can put the vanilla on top of the strawberry. Beautiful! Can you put the chocolate on top of the chocolate chip? The mint chocolate chip? Beautiful! Oh, now can you put the vanilla 
a little higher, guys. So we're gonna reach up at a higher level now. So more prone extension, a harder move. Can you lift the vanilla and put it on top of the cone? Do you guys all move them? Vanilla first. Oh, you can do it. Beautiful. And can you get the strawberry on top of the cone? Last one. Oh, fantastic, Mia. Go for it, you might as well. Chocolate? Get that chocolate up there. Oh, and the last one, mint chocolate chip. Oh, no, very good try, Mia. Beautiful work. And that's it, guys. That's our 30 second prune extension sensory swing using just the towel. Like I said, be safe, nice soft floor, and watch your biomechanics. But it is a really nice way to get that tricky vestibular, very positive vestibular input, but can be tricky to find other ways to get the same swing sensation. And you can easily do it at home if you're safe and sensible about it, okay? Did you think that was fun, Mia? Yeah. Are you liking your ice cream? Yeah. Very nice. What's your favorite flavor? My favorite favorite flavor is two, actually. Oh. It's strawberry and vanilla. Strawberry and vanilla. Do you have any mint chocolate chip for Dada? Yeah. Um, yum, 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 yum. Okay. Thank you so much, guys. As always, if you want to stay updated for these videos, what do they do, Mia? Discord. Subscribe. And if you have any areas you'd like me to work on or videos you'd like to see, let me know in the comments below. But for today, that's all from me and Anna. my assistant Mia spilling ice cream all over the house. Say bye, Mia. Bye. Say Adam the OT. Adam the OT. Out.